Yeah. Hello, hello. Greetings, 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 my beloved people. Oh, praise we God. We give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. That we could be here. We can be this here. Time. <laughs> <laughs> we have had an incredible oh, morning. Oh, we have. We have. My goodness me. <laughs> Hallelujah. The challenges that we had oh, trying to come on live this yes, morning. But you know yes. what? We praise the name we of the Lord. We praise God. Here we are. Oh, Here we are. We managed to triumph. Bless the Lord. Let me say good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Pastor praise Colin. God. You're know, looking very dapper well, today. We very God, dapper. You, know, we, and you look absolutely beautiful <laughs> this morning. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? It's our anniversary this week. You know, yeah. we've been celebrating our 32nd anniversary, wedding Amen. anniversary. Thank and the Lord. And we just give the Lord praise. So, you know God what? Praise. We thought we'd give you a treat. And just see how dapper we really yeah, look. Scrubbed up a little you bit. You understand? More, we scrubbed up well today, <laughs> didn't we? Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, we bless God. And we, we appreciate God. you being with us uh, this yeah. afternoon. Welcome. We're so used to saying this morning. So if we say this morning, do forgive us. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Well, we're here with a time of ministry with Pastor Maureen. And Pastor Colin. Hallelujah. We've got that right today. Amen. And we bless the name of the Lord. And we have a wonderful hymn for you today. Glory be to God. We pray you will just join in with us. And the title of this hymn is Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. And yeah. what a wonderful song this is. I remember having joyous times when I first got saved, singing this song and just rejoicing in the Lord. We pray that you will rejoice also. Amen. Amen. And we know, we know many of you know it. So oh, sing yes. along with sing us. Sing along with us. Praise God. Praise God. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning on Jesus, leaning. Oh, I am safe and secure from all our love. Oh, I am leaning on Jesus, leaning. I am leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how sweet to walk. In the pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, yes, and oh, how bright the path grows from day to day, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, yes, I'm leaning on Jesus, leaning. I am safe and secure from all I love. Leaning on Jesus, leaning. I am leaning on the everlasting arms. What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms. I have blessed peace with my Lord so near, leaning on the everlasting arms. I am leaning on Jesus, leaning, oh, safe and secure from all alone. I am leaning on Jesus, leaning. I am leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning on Jesus, leaning. I am safe and secure from all alarm. Leaning on Jesus, leaning. I am leaning on the everlasting Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I enjoyed that. I hope you hallelujah. did. Hallelujah. What a wonderful Praise hymn. God. You can just imagine hallelujah. the, the foot stomping and the tambourine. Oh, we bless, bless the name him. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, we glory him. We be to honor God. Him. Hallelujah. We glorify the name of the King of Kings. Hallelujah. And the Lord of Lords. Oh, bless, bless the be. Lord. The name of the Lord. Oh, bless Hallelujah. the Lord. What have I to dread? Oh, glory what to God. What have I to fear? 
Amen. Living on the everlasting arms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Indeed. Hallelujah. Well, we praise the name of the Lord. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are definitely going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. Let me say good morning to you, Annie. God bless Praise you. Praise the Lord. And thank you for honoring us this morning. Amen. And, uh, we, we receive your happy anniversary. Praise the name thank of the you. Lord. Thank you. Happy anniversary to you. <laughs> happy anniversary again. Well, we praise God. Isn't it? <laughs> Amen. 32 years. 32 Woo! years. 32 bless years. God. <laughs> bless the name Praise of the Lord. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, God is good. God is good to us. Amen. Amen. And we just want to honor him this morning. Amen. So you see, I keep saying this morning, but it's this afternoon. <laughs> oh, praise praise the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. Howdy how we're gonna just have a moment of prayer um at this time. And I just want to pray a prayer of peace over Thank every Jesus. one of us today. Yes. We know that there are many challenges that people have, many people are going through different difficult times, but we just magnify the Lord that when his peace, like a river is on the inside of us it strengthens us it encourages us amen yes. amen hallelujah it does something on the inside hallelujah yes. and i pray for that peace that passes all understanding amen. upon your life today so we're going to pray we're going to read philippians 4 and verse 7 and we're going to just pray a prayer of peace this afternoon upon each one of you hallelujah that the lord will bless your way Philippians 4 verse 7, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray that the Lord God Almighty will fill your life with unspeakable joy and peace. We pray that God will keep you in perfect peace. Let your mind rest on him. We pray that the peace of God that passes understanding will surround you so that you are no longer afraid, so that you are no longer worried, so that you are no longer anxious or upset or angry or frustrated. We pray that you receive God's peace for every step you take. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray that God's river of peace will flow in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray that God's peace will be yours strengthen strengthening your heart strengthening your mind strengthening your spirit hallelujah mm. we pray that the peace of god is released upon your household we pray that the peace of god is released over every fiber of your being Amazing. no danger will befall you nor any trouble come near you mm. hallelujah mm. the peace of god which pass of all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, Amen. our Lord, our Savior. Amen. 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 We wish you peace. Hallelujah. The peace of God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Bless the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There's nothing sweeter than the peace of God. Praise his name. Which passes all understanding. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 Well, I wanted to say to you greetings today and uh you know, Moyn and I, we've had a lot of challenges this morning, but God, the same God who created us, the same God was with us. Amen. Amen. And hence we are here with you now, and we bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. We are going to continue with some incredible teaching today, ministry today, and uh, we're just sharing what the Lord has laid upon uh, our hearts. And we just magnify God for you for taking the time to be with us right now. The last time that we were uh, together, we shared from the topic, we started the topic of the battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. Amen. The battle belongs to the Lord. And you can go back to last week's uh, broadcast and you'll be able to pick up uh, from there. If you hadn't seen it, we, we encourage you to go to it and, uh, and just listen to it over and over again and uh, let the Lord just minister to you. Amen. Amen. But there was a scripture verse that we ended with which was taken from Ephesians uh, 6, 10, and 11. And I, was, I left this one from the Passion Translation, and I'm going to share that with you now as we continue with the battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Here's what the Bible says in Ephesians 6, verses 10 and 11. Now, my beloved ones, I have saved these most important truths 
until last. Be supernaturally infused with strength through your life union with the Lord Jesus. Stand victorious with the force of his explosive power flowing in and through you. Mm -hmm. Put on God's complete set of armor provided for us, hallelujah, so that you will be protected as you fight against the evil strategies of the accuser. Bless the name of the Lord. Our main body of scripture will be taken from 1 Samuel chapter 17. And uh, we're going to be looking at David and Goliath, but I'll be sharing quite a number of scriptures in between. Bless the name of the Lord. Now we talk about uh, the battle. The word battle means to fight. Mm -hmm. It means to war. Mm -hmm. It means to struggle with. It means to resist something. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's a combat between two persons yes. or more. It means to contend with full strength, vigor, skills, or resources. Amen. Amen. So when the Bible says the battle is the Lord, it is the Lord that will do the contending. Mm -hmm. We just need to follow his battle plan. Amen. Hallelujah. This is not something that we can do on our own or in our own strength. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, as we go into the main body of the scripture, we, that we, which we will be using, we are going to learn some powerful truths about the battle belongs to the Lord. And some of the things that we'll pick up along the way will be that we will be able to identify as a spiritual warrior. Mm. Glory be to God. And the word warrior comes from the same word for battle. In a sense, we are prepared for battle. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. We have a battle plan. Yes. Glory be to God. Mm. We know that the name of the Lord will be magnified in our lives. Amen. 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 So we have a battle plan. Yes, Glory be do. to God. We will be able to speak like a warrior. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. We will be able to speak the word of God over every situation because we have the word of God flowing through us. Amen. Amen. That is God's battle plan. Yes. So we'll learn to identify the spiritual warrior. We'll learn to speak like a spiritual warrior. Mm -hmm. And another important thing is that we will learn to serve. Mm. Do you know that the greatest servants make the greatest warriors? Indeed. Hallelujah. Okay. Bless the name of the Lord. We learn to serve one another, serve people. We serve and be a blessing to others. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. We'll be able to live like a warrior and walk like a warrior. Praise the name of the Lord. And we will consistently remember who the battle belongs to. to. Hallelujah. Praise we have to be in constant uh, memory to, to know who the battle belongs to. Yes. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we try to go it alone. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yes. Without the help of God, yes. thinking that we can manage this, but we need to exercise the authority of the name of Jesus over every situation. Amen. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So let us go now to the book of First Samuel, chapter 17, and I'm going to read from verse 17. Bless the name of the Lord. First mm -hmm. Samuel 17, and I'm going to read from verse 17, and I'm reading from the Amplified Classic. <laughs> now, and Jesse said to David his son, take for your brothers an ephah of this parched grain and these ten loaves and carry them quickly to your brothers at the camp. Also take these ten cheeses to the commander of their thousand and see how your brothers fare and bring some token from them. Now Saul and the brothers and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Elah, fighting with Philistines. So David rose up early the next morning, left the sheep with a keeper, took the provisions and went out as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the encampment as the host going forth to the battleground, battleground shouted the battle cry. And, it, and Israel and the Philistines put the battle in array, army against army. David left his packages in the care of the baggage keeper and he ran into the ranks and came and greeted his brothers. This is the first instance now. Now, as we get a glimpse of David, we observe that he had an obedient heart. Yes. That's one of the things that he had. He had an obedient heart. Yes. And in order for us to get anywhere in, on the program of the Lord, we must have obedient hearts. Yes, you do. He followed the instructions of his father, Jesse. Yes. The most important thing 
learning about servanthood is to obey your parents. <laughs> oh, glory to God. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we need to learn to obey our parents. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Secondly, he tended the sheep. Mm. Now, this shepherd boy was being prepared for something extraordinary. Mm. Glory be to God. It may not have been much to him, but somehow he learned to serve. Yeah, and in yeah. servanthood, God was preparing him for something extraordinary. That's right. Glory That's right. be to God. Thirdly, we learn that David was a person of humility and he had a servant's heart. Mm. He learned to serve. He could speak up for himself. Yes. You know, if he wanted to say something, he would say it. But he learned to serve. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Fourthly, David's humble nature was already clearly evident in his life. Mm. He was carrying bread and corn to his brothers and cheese to the captain. Mm -hmm. He was happy being a servant, mm. even though he was destined to be a warrior. Mm. Amen. Amen. But he was happy to serve. Yeah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And as people of God, it is not about praying the loudest or to be heard and seen. It's about servanthood, mm. learning to serve first then stepping into the extraordinary. Yes. Oh, glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Now, I'm not saying these things because I'm perfect. I'm saying these things because I've had these challenges. Mm. Glory be to God. Yes. In my journey as a Christian, I have learned to serve. Mm. When I felt that I was overlooked, I continued to serve. Mm. And yes, there were times I complained and I murmured and I had to stop doing that. Yes. But I continued to serve. Yes. When I felt unappreciated, I continued to serve. Mm. When I was misunderstood, mm. I continued to serve. Yes. Because in serving, I learned to pray. Mm. In serving, I learned to spend time in studying God's work. Yes. In serving, God was preparing me to identify as a spiritual warrior. Praise he God. was preparing me to speak like a warrior. Yes. He was preparing me through my learning to serve. Glory mm. be to God. Hallelujah. He was preparing me to live and walk like a warrior. Yes. And he was preparing me and reminding me who the battle belongs to. Praise the God. battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. And we must follow his battle plan. Yes. Servanthood is very, very important yes, it because it builds up your character. Yes. It builds up your strength. It builds up your ability to do what God requires of you. Amen. 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 It does. Bless the name of the Lord. So true. David's family did not even know his heart. Mm -mm. There was a warrior inside of him. Yes. And I want to say to you today, there's a warrior inside every single one of us. Yes. Glory be to Hallelujah. God. David had the heart, the mind, and the tongue of a warrior. Where did he learn this from? Mm. Well, Exodus 15, 3 from the Living Bible says this, The Lord is a warrior. Yes, Jehovah is his name. Mm. Hallelujah. David learned to be a warrior from his heavenly father. Yes. Glory be to God, Hallelujah. the Lord God of hosts the one who stands strong in the heavens, the one who created us, the one who made us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He learned from his heavenly father yes. how to be a warrior. God was training him through servanthood. Glory, Glory to God. God. Hallelujah. Servanthood. Hallelujah. Amen. And even though you may be serving, you can begin to identify yourself as a warrior and not a warrior. Amen. Amen. You Hallelujah. don't need to worry. Just continue to serve. I'm telling you, God is in the promotion business yes, and he is. wants to promote you. He wants to take you deeper and higher in Amen. him. Amen. We need to follow his battle plan. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Sure. That's right. Follow his battle plan. Amen. And that's what we learn to do. That's right. That's why we're 32 years strong. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Glory to God. It's been a battle. <laughs> it's been it's challenging. Been you know, we don't lie. We don't, we're not telling you. You understand? We, like, we share what the Lord oh, is doing and what God. he has done in our lives. Amen. Amen. We learn to serve one another oh, bless the and Lord. honor one another yes. and respect one another. Amen. Glory be to God. And treasure God and another. treasure one another. Support one another. Amen. Oh, praise God. God has taken us through all of that. Yes. He has shown us in his word. Amen. Mm. That's the God in whom we serve. Hallelujah. So today I urge you to move into a new realm of power and authority 
over all the power of the enemy. Amen. And as you begin to identify yourself as a warrior, your actions must begin to follow what you say you are. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Listen to this. David could not restrain himself when he was provoked by the enemy of God. Mm. He couldn't constrain himself. No. Look at what it says in the same First Samuel 17 from verse 23. <clears throat> And I'm reading this from the Amplified Bible. It says, as they talked, behold, Goliath, the champion, the Philistine of Gath, came forth from the Philistine ranks, and he spoke the same words as before, and David heard him. Mm. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, they fled from him. They were terrified of yeah, him. Yeah. And the Israelites said, have you seen this man who has come out? Surely he has come out to defy Israel. Yes. And the man who kills him, the king will enrich with great riches and will give him his daughter and make his father's house free from taxes and service in Israel. Mm. And David said to the men standing by him, what shall be done for the man who kills the Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? Mm. For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? Mm. That is bold talk, it amen, is. Is. from somebody, hallelujah, mm. who understood who God was, amen. who God is in his life. Yes. And the men told him, thus shall it be done for this man who kills him. Mm. Now Eliab, his oldest brother, heard what he said to the men. And Eliab's anger was kindled against David. And he said, why did you come here? With whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? Mm. I know your presumption and evilness of heart, mm -hmm. for you came down that you might see the battle. And David said, what have I done now? Mm. Hmm? Mm. Why are you speaking to me in that way? Yeah. What, what, you know, what, was it not a harmless question? Mm -hmm. And David turned away from Eliab to another, and he asked the same question, and again the men gave him the same answer. Now David's brothers, I want you to understand, did not take him seriously because they did not know his heart. Yeah. And how many of you know there are going to be people that will not take you seriously yeah. because they don't know your heart? But you and I need to continue to stand on the word of God. Yes. Follow the battle plan of heaven. Yes. Amen. Amen. That you are more than a conqueror. Amen. Right. Amen. Not everybody's going to understand your no. calling. No. Not everybody's going to understand what God is doing in your life. Mm. Even the words that you speak, some people will be upset set by them yeah. but you know what you follow god's battle plan because god will take you to where you need to be amen david's brothers didn't take him seriously mm. they didn't know his heart mm. and we can have an inner knowing about what god desires for us but sometimes our closest loved ones can miss it yes yes but we need to trust god mm. and trust him with all our heart soul mind and strength yes Destiny and greatness can be woven into every fabric of our being mm. and can go unnoticed by our families, by our friends, by the pastors and teachers. Mm. But mm. always remember, God is preparing you and I for greatness. That's true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand on the word. Amen. And believe what God says. If you believe that God is talking to you mm. and God is leading you, you need to stand on what God says Amen. and follow his battle plan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to remember Praise who him. the battle belongs to. Yes. Glory be to God. I urge you, brothers and sisters, I urge you, trust God. Yes. Follow his battle plan. His the battle belongs to the Lord. Oh, no matter what you're facing, the waiting sometimes can be very daunting. Mm. But wait on the Lord. Amen. Be of good courage. Hallelujah. And he shall strengthen your heart. That's right. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Some of you have dreams that God has given you. Some of you have visions that God has given you. And the time is coming when these things will come to pass. That's right. So stand on the word of the Lord. Praise Amen. Him. Praise him. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank Bless you, the name Jesus. of the Lord. Hallelujah. What I love about David, which is so true, is that he knew that no matter how small he was or how small he felt he was, he was a representative of God. Mm. He was a representative of the God he served. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was nothing else more important than to serve God. Yep. Hallelujah. And as far as David was concerned, how dare this Philistine insult a people whose Lord was God? How dare this Philistine do that? Yeah. And we are living in a world where it's becoming more and more godless. Mm. But we need to stand on God's word. Amen. I'm saying to you that without God, there is an emptiness. There is something missing. We must 
follow the battle plan of the Lord. That's right. That's why we pray for our leaders of the mm, nations. Yes. We pray that they will follow God's battle plan, right. not their own, mm. not what they think, but what is God saying in the situation. That's, right. That's why many saints of God are lifting up the leaders before God mm. so that they can understand his battle plan. Amen. Right. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory. Now I'm going to finish off with reading 1 Samuel 17, verses 31 to 37. And I'm going to continue next time. But I want to just read this. Now, remember this. As I said before, as far as David was concerned, how dare this Philistine insult a people whose Lord was God? Mm. How dare they? Mm. And David goes on to say, he says this, when David's words were heard, they were repeated to Saul mm -hmm. and he sent for him. Now, if you can imagine, you know, Saul is a very strapping man. Mm. A strapping man. Mm. He could have gone up against Goliath himself, mm. but even he was afraid of him. Mm. This was a very sad situation. And David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of this Philistine. Your servant will go out and fight with him. Mm -hmm. That You know, for some people, they would have probably been giggling because of the size of David. It's true. <laughs> yes. You'd probably be looking at him. Who does this, person, who does this boy think Who's he is? Think is? You know? And he says, and Saul said to David, you are not able to go and fight against this Philistine. Mm. You are only an adolescent. Mm. And he has been a warrior from his youth. Mm. And David said to Saul, your servant kept his father's sheep. And when there came a lion or again a bear and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and smote it and delivered a lamb out of its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its bed and smote it and killed it. Your servant killed both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them, for he has defied the armies of the living God. My Lord, mm. bold talk, you know. Indeed. And David said, the Lord who delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. Yes. And Saul said to David, go and the Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Go and the Lord will be with you. And I'm saying that to you today. Whatever God has called you to do, go mm. and let the Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. The words that David spoke would have been powerful. Yes. They would have been authoritative. Yes. He identified with the warrior spirit within him. Amen. Glory be to God. And King Saul recognized that there was someone in Israel who had more going for him than meets the eye. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never judge a book by its cover. That's right. Glory be to That's God. Right. He had more going for him than his natural ability. He had an identification with God mm. rather than himself. That's right. David wasn't dependent upon his own strength. No. He wasn't dependent upon anything else other than the Lord God of hosts. Mm. Amen. Amen. Let me make this abundantly clear. If we are going to do battle with the devil and destroy his works, we are going to have to stop depending on what we can do in the natural. Mm. And that means that we mustn't depend upon our money, our abilities and our skills. We must depend upon God yes. and we must do what God says. That's and the, the battle belongs to the Lord. Yes, and so does. therefore we need to follow his battle plan. Glory. Why? Because when we begin to depend on what we can do with our natural abilities, we limit ourselves and the extent to which the power of Almighty God will flow through us. Yes. And it is at this point that the enemy is victorious. Mm. So I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave you with this thought until the next time that we meet. Do not depend upon yourself. Mm. Our own abilities are not the key to lasting success. No. We must lean on our relationship with God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the battle belongs to God. Amen. And therefore we must follow his battle plan. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To God be the glory. Glory to God. And when we follow his plan, yes. we know that it will be well. Didn't Noah follow God's plan? Mm. Didn't Joshua follow God's plan? Yes. Didn't Joseph follow God's plan? Yes. Didn't Jesus follow God's plan? Yes. And so many more followed God's plan. Amen. Was it successful? Yes, it was. Praise the Lord. So trust God. Amen. Amen. Trust him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And next week I will continue. Amen. Amen. I'm so excited about this word. You know, that's why I'm just taking my time with it. Because there's some things in here that we're going to learn over Amen. the coming weeks. Amen. Amen. Now. Let me say this to you. I've been married to this wonderful woman for 32 years, and I'm so glad what God has done in our lives. Mm -hmm. I really do. I am. And I appreciate Hallelujah. her very much. I do tell her this. I'm not telling you anything that I don't say to her. 
I appreciate all that she does for me as a husband and as a father. I appreciate her. She's going to be sharing with you right now. And I always look forward to, to, to listen to more to her because it encourages my heart. Amen. So be blessed as you have a listen to what Pastor Moyd has to say. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise God. God. Well, thank you very much for that wonderful word, Pastor Colin. Praise it the was Lord. very encouraging, mm. some beautiful insights, and I look forward to hearing more next week. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. God. Hallelujah. And I want to say how much I appreciate God for bringing us together. Amen. Bless the yes. Lord. Yes, as we said, it was a battle, but now it's very sweet Hallelujah. we've been through the battle yes but we are enjoying the spoils of war Amen. glory to god Hallelujah. it's been worth Woo! it glory Hallelujah. Yeah, we, and we, we, we make, thank make. god Amen. because god has taught us mm. how to how fight can... and win come on oh bless god glory and when god. when you win it's sweet and it's getting sweeter all the time praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. we follow, we follow, god we follow god's back back Amen. Again. Praise All right, I've got a word for you today, and Amen. I hope you're going to enjoy it. I've enjoyed receiving it from the Lord, and mm. I'm I'm going to enjoy sharing it with you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So would you turn your Bibles with me to Psalm 103? Yes. We're going to read verses 1 to 5. Amen. Psalm 103, 1 to 5, I'm reading from the New King James Version, and Amen. it reads, Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, yes. and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Yes. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, mm. who forgives all your iniquities, yeah. who heals all your diseases, mm. who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, yeah. who satisfies your mouth with good things mm. so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a lot we're going to extract from this passage, but before we do, we're going to look at Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 to 2, and yeah. also verse 61. So we're looking at Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 2, also from the New King James Version. Yeah. Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, mm. which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth mm. and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Mm. And now we're going to go to verse 61 of the same chapter. Mm. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in this book of the law will the Lord bring upon you until you are destroyed. Mm, wow. oh, that's not very nice, oh, is it? My days. Okay, so in Deuteronomy 28, mm. Moses lists the curses and the blessings that will come upon the children of Israel mm. for either obeying or disobeying the law of the Lord. Mm. The curse of the law can be summarized as sin, sickness, or spiritual death. Mm. These curses and blessings can also come upon any person who is not a Jew. Mm. But there is good news for the person who accepts Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And let's have a look at Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, also mm. from the New King James Version. Mm. It says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, mm. having become a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. Mm. Praise God. My Isn't that Lord. good news? My Lord. Hallelujah. My so Lord we learn that there are curses and there are blessings. And I want to tell you, those curses and those blessings are still in operation. Mm. They didn't die out mm. in the Old Testament. They are continual curses because laws have been set in place by the, the master of the universe. Mm. And if you do not obey the word of the Lord, those curses can come right. upon you. Yeah, it's true. And if you yeah. obey the word of the Lord, yeah. you are entitled to the blessing. But sometimes it doesn't come automatically, no, does it? No, it doesn't. doesn't. No. Unfortunately, that is not the mm. case. But they are available. Mm. You Praise God. Yeah. You have to work at it. Now, yeah. let's go back to Psalm 103. We're going to look at verse 2. It says this, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Mm. Another word for benefits yeah. from the Hebrew and Aramaic language, which the Old Testament, of course, was written in, and this is according to the Strong's Concordance, is recompense, mm. which means mm. to make amends to someone 
for loss or harm suffered mm. or to compensate. Mm. Interesting. That's lovely. Wow. Before we came to the Lord, we were under the control and the dominion of darkness. Mm. But Jesus saved us by his blood and translated us mm. into his kingdom. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. the name Glory of the Lord. Not go. only did he do that, Amen. he made amends mm. and he compensated us for the harm mm. the kingdom of darkness had an inflicted upon us mm. glory be to god Isn't that wonderful absolutely Ooh. wonderful praise, praise god. god hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> some other versions of that verse put mm. it this way they, and this is the, the contemporary english version it says with all my heart i praise the lord i will never forget how kind he's been oh wonderful god's yeah. word translation says this praise the lord my soul and never forget all the good yes. he has done Ooh. thank the lord thank the lord the living bible says yeah. this yes i will bless the lord and not forget the glorious things mm. he does yes. for me praise god and the message says oh my soul bless the lord from head to toe i will bless his holy name oh my soul bless god don't forget a single blessing isn't that wonderful isn't that marvelous Ooh, glory to god praise don't god Hallelujah. don't forget oh, the my. benefits that we get from the lord mm. the next verse or in verse three it goes on to list what those benefits are verse three says who forgives all your iniquities oh, who heals all your diseases oh, yes yes please praise god Hallelujah. So let's have a look at the word iniquity, first mm. of all. It comes from the Hebrew or Aramaic word orvon, mm. which means, number one, perversity, mm. depravity, mm. guilt, mm. or fault. Mm. And number two, it also means the consequence of or punishment for mm. Iniquity. So mm. let, let, let's see that. So God forgives us of our perversity, mm. our depravity, mm. our guilt no, or our faults. Yeah. And he also forgives us. He, he, he can forgive us the consequences of that pr perversity, yeah. that depravity, that guilt or that fault. Mm. Praise the Lord. So the first benefit or the act of kindness that he did with us. So these are the things that we would no longer suffer from. My Lord. Isn't that marvelous? That wonderful. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, yes. Second Corinthians 5, 19 puts it this way. It was God. And this is from the Amplified uh, translation, mm. the classic edition. It was God personally present in Christ, mm. reconciling and restoring the world to favor with himself, mm. not counting up and holding against men their trespasses, mm. but canceling them mm -hmm. and committing to us the message of reconciliation of the restoration to favor. Hallelujah. Isn't that Ooh, beautiful? That's sweet, you know. I, I think I think we should read that again. Yeah, please. Can we read that again? Yes, please. Because I don't think some people have got it. Because yeah. there's a concept that we get that I'm going to go back to in a minute. Let me yeah. read it again. It was God mm. personally present in Christ, reconciling and restoring the world to favor with himself, mm. not counting up and holding against men their trespasses, mm. but canceling them and committing to us the message of reconciliation of the restoration to favor. Wonderful. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. You know, many people believe that when they come to God, God is standing there with a stick mm. ready to beat us every time mm. we've done a trespass or a sin because that's, mm. that's, that's the legalistic way mm. that people see it's God. Yeah. People see God as some kind of terrible person mm. that is just standing there always, always. ready to, 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 to uh, punish us. Mm. Don't, don't people believe yeah, that? Yes, I do. And it's unfortunate. But they yes. believe that God is yeah. someone to be feared and that's, that's it. He's just stern mm. and horrible. Mm. It's a lie from the pit yeah, of hell. Very much so. The devil is a liar. Amen. So you see, when we come to the Lord mm. and we ask him to forgive us of our sins, yeah. he forgives us. Yeah. And to forgive actually means that you remit the sin. You don't hold it against the person any longer. So God is not keeping a score. No. And holding and, and watching to see when we last committed mm. sin and then adding that to the no, next time. No, he's no, not doing that. No, that's not the God. That's that not serve. the God we serve. No. Once we committed sin and we ask for repentance, we repent we and we we confess our sins mm. and we repent, he wipes it away, he cancels it, yes. he doesn't hold it against us anymore. Amen. Amen. That's Praise so God. Good. 
That's very, very true. And Bless I know the that. Lord. Praise God. We need to remember that. Yeah, you know, people, mm. unfortunately, there are people that will remember. If you've done something bad, mm. some people remember it and they remember it for the whole of your lifetime. Yeah. And yeah. they judge you because yeah. of what you've done in the past. Yeah, it's true. But I want to tell you, that is not the heart of God. Not at all. That's not, not the heart all. of God. Not at all. And as children of God, mm. we need to demonstrate the heart of God. Amen. Amen. We need to get Amen. rid of anything that is not like God and we need to put on what is of God. Amen. God is kind. God is not holding That's our right. trespasses against us. Amen. And so we shouldn't do it either. Amen. Amen. And that's scripture. That's scripture. Amen. That's scripture. That's God. what the devil does. Mm. The devil will always hold your mm. trespasses against you mm. and always remind you mm. of what you used to do. And he will remind mm. other people and he will say how terrible you mm. are because of what you've done in the past. Mm. But that's because the devil is a liar Amen. and he hates us. Yeah. And we didn't get saved so that we could echo and become champions of the devil's way Amen. of doing things. I, I, I want to say that Amen. to you, brethren. Glory to God. Amen. If that's what mm. you've been doing, I'm telling you now, you need to stop. Stop it. Yeah, it's true. You need to stop it. Please, please. There are some people that are so judgmental mm. and so condemning. Mm. It's a shame. Mm. It really is. Mm. We need to be what God is like. God yes. is kind. Yes. God is generous yes, and he's is. loving. Yes, the is. devil is hateful. Mm. He's condemning mm. and he's judgmental. Let's not get the two of them confused. Please. Praise God. Oh God. Help Let's us. be Merciful the God. heart of God. Yeah. Let's speak the way God speaks. Mm. Let's treat people the way God treats them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So important. Hallelujah. I want to say this. I remember I, mm. I listened to the Copelands a lot, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. And um, I remember in times past, they've talked about some of the ministries that they do. They go into prisons and they go into some of the most terrible prisons and they minister mm. to serial killers. Mm. Can you believe that? Mm. Some people would not give them mm. the time of day. People would think you've done such a terrible thing. There's no way society would turn their back on you. Mm. But they've gone to minister to them, to, to show them the heart of God. Mm. And do you know some serial killers, people who've done the most atrocious crimes, mm. have got saved. Yeah, they've given their hearts to the Lord. They've right. given their hearts mm. to the Lord. Mm. They've repented of their sins and they have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom mm. of God's dear son. Now, I know mm. some people mm. will find that very hard to believe and certainly not be happy about it. Mm. Some people mm. believe that if you've done something terrible like that, you, sh you, you don't have any entitlement mm. to come into the kingdom of God. That's not how God sees it. Mm. No matter what we've done, no matter mm. how heinous it is, mm. God is willing to forgive anybody of any trespass. Mm once we come to him and ask him for forgiveness oh, you, and God. they have had the great privilege yeah. of baptizing people in, right, prison. in prison yeah. they've done it yeah. and they do it from time to yeah. time yeah. they go and people and some of them have been put to mm. death they've been on yeah, death row because right. the state hasn't forgiven them god mm. may have forgiven them but the state hasn't forgiven mm. them. they still have to pay the punishment of the crime that they've committed and so they have gone to prison i, I remember kenneth was talking about somebody that um that he led to the Lord and that he said, you know, will you be there when they put me to death? And he said, yes, he'll, he'll stay there. And um, he said, just give, just let me know when it's time that you really feel the assurance that you're going to be mm. with the Lord. Mm. And I believe he was going to be put to that. I think it was the electric mm. chair. I think it was the electric chair mm. he was having. And just before they pulled the switch, the man just put up his hand and put a thumbs up. Mm. Wow. Because he was going to be killed, but he knew where, where he, he was, was going. going. Yeah. Because God has forgiven, mm. had forgiven his mm. iniquities. Mm. So regardless, that's mm. what I want to say. Mm. Regardless of the crime that you have committed, mm. no matter how bad it is, mm. you come to Jesus. Hallelujah. You ask for forgiveness. Hallelujah. He will forgive you. Merciful. He won't hold it against you anymore. Praise Merciful. the name Merciful of the Lord. God. We give the Lord praise. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. The second benefit or the act of kindness or glorious thing he did for us was to heal all of our diseases. Oh, yes, please. Praise God. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53, 5 says this. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Mm. He was bruised for our iniquities. Yes. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Yes. And by his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, Praise you, the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Hallelujah. Jewish Bible says, but he was wounded because of our crimes. Mm. <laughs> crushed because of our mm -hmm. sins. Yeah. 
the, dis the disciplining that makes us whole fell on him and by his bruises we are healed oh, oh glory Thank to you god so the amplified god. bible says this yeah. but he was wounded for our transgressions mm. he was crushed for our wickedness, mm -mm. our sins, mm -mm. our injustice, our wrongdoing, mm -mm. the punishment required for our well-being mm -mm. fell on him. And by his stripes, his wounds, mm -mm. we are healed. No, oh, no. Praise Isn't God. That wonderful, yeah. Isn't wonderful. that wonderful? I, you know, the, the Lord is, is just so good. Mm. I can remember my state when I got saved, and yet God looked at me and God saved me mm. through his son, Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. And from that time, you know, having to deal with so many things, but Jesus on the inside was working on me all of the time. Glory and be to God. And for that, I give God praise. Amen. I give God praise for what Jesus did yes. for me. Yes. I'm so glad. We wouldn't be here now. We, you know, we would probably be living very different lives, mm. but God, God, that brought us together from different parts of the, of the country. Isn't that wonderful? God is so good. God is good. God is good. Please listen to this word today. God is a forgiving God. Mm. Amen. He's Amen. a merciful God. Praise God. And he loves you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Right. This version makes it clear that Jesus did not only suffer for our physical well-being, mm. he also suffered for our mental well-being. And I want to say that to those of you who are suffering from mental distress. There's mm. a lot of people that are suffering from mental mm. illness. And, and somehow it just seems, you know, an intractable problem mm. that some people can't seem to get over. There mm. are people that are suffering mental illness and some of them suffer it for, like, for years. Mm. And uh, I, I want to tell you a testimony, a personal testimony of mine. My mother suffered from mental illness for over 50 years. Mm. Oh, it was a terrible oh. problem. I've mentioned it before, but it's, it was a terrible bane on our family. It caused her a great deal mm. of distress. It caused us a lot of distress. My father pastored a number of churches. And so, you know, for the congregations mm. that he pastored, that we were part of, it was a distress for the congregation mm. as well. Oh, it was hard. awful. We prayed. Yeah. We did everything we possibly could mm. to try to get a hold on this problem. But, you know, there are some problems mm. that prayer alone will not resolve. Mm. We know about prayer, but there are sometimes some situations that require insight. Yes, much more insight. Yeah. More insight mm. as to what caused the problem or what it's going to take to get rid of it. There are some things that the enemy has managed to kind of maneuver mm. and get a hand of. There's some strongholds in some situations mm. that people are facing mm. and you need insight. Yeah. You need the Holy Spirit to tell you yeah. what to do, yeah. what strategy you need to do mm. in or order to overcome the problem. Right. It's yeah. the truth. It's, true. it's very, very true. It's the truth. It's you so need key. discernment. Yeah. And uh, we struggled with this mm. problem with my mother for many, many, many years, years. Yeah. many years, yeah. Yeah. many times we cried and we prayed, we mm. fasted, we did everything we possibly could. Mm. But one day the Lord called me mm. into a, a healing and deliverance ministry. Mm. Yeah. Didn't expect to be called into that, but that's what the Lord called me into. Mm. And God be praised. Mm. When I came into that ministry, I came into greater insight mm. and understanding. Yeah, same you know, there's sometimes we lack understanding, yeah. some knowledge yeah. about some situations yeah. that we just don't, don't have. Know. That's right. Yeah. But because I was called into this ministry, mm. it opened me up to greater understanding mm. and knowledge mm. about demonic interference mm. and some of the things that were happening in that world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Lord, we I remember we prayed as a family, we mm. prayed and we said, look, there's some things that we really need to put towards God. We're yeah. going to write some things down and yeah. we are going to ask God some specific Hallelujah. questions about this situation. Yeah. We need some answers. Yeah. And we put those questions before the Lord and the Lord answered them. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord Glory gave some insight into what the problem was, how the enemy mm. had got a hold mm. in the situation with my mother. Mm and what we needed to do yes. in order to get the victory. And mm. the Lord assured us mm. that victory was ours if we followed what he Hallelujah. said. Now, it didn't come straight away. It didn't come straight away. It, didn't come straight away. it took a lot of time yeah. for, for us to actually get there. But we, I could see mm. that as we applied it, where we got the upper hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory where the God. enemy would seem to be laughing at us, we started to see some things change because we came oh, into yeah. knowledge about how to deal with the situation and to the glory of God. Mm. Before my mother went home to glory, she was completely healed Hallelujah. and delivered. 
a situation Ooh. that the psychiatrist said could never happen, mm. we saw it happen. I, I remember before my dad died, because my dad died before my mother died, uh, I remember when at one particular time when she was getting worse, mm. and she was getting older, it just seemed that the situation mm. changed and we couldn't understand what was going on. And I remember that we went to go visit a psychiatrist to can't try and find under, to understand why things seemed to have changed, what, what was going on. And the psychiatrist said to us, he said that we should that we should accept the situation mm. that she was going to be like that for the rest of her life, mm. and, and that's what we should accept. Now we didn't say anything to the psychiatrist mm. at the time. Mm. We left it. I came out and mm. I and I spoke to my dad. I said, Dad, we're not accepting no, this. That's right. I said we are mm. going to fight it. I said this is that this is what the devil mm. wants for Mum. Mm. Jesus didn't come and die on the cross right. and be wounded right. so that she would live the rest of her life mm. in that situation. We're not accepting it. No. We're going to fight it. it. That's right. And we did fight Amen. it. Amen. Praise God. Indeed. And God be praised. Mm. The psychiatrist's words did not come to pass. He Amen. expected my mother to have dementia. Mm. They, they expected they that. Expected they, said that they said that she'd have dementia. Mm. She never got no, dementia. Not at all. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, glory be to you. God. She was a strong woman. She strong woman. In fact, she had to fight to get some rights because she wasn't entitled, because she wasn't getting, the, she didn't have the diagnosis that you needed to have in order to get the benefits. She had to fight for that. But she fought and she oh. managed to get her benefits while she was That's in hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. But God be praised. God I be remember, praised. I remember when my dad passed off and I had to be the, the main carer for my mother, that there was a day when the psychiatrist rang me mm -hmm. and said to me and said to me your mother has no more issues with her mental health hallelujah praise she's god. no longer hearing the voices oh, that she used to praise hear god. it's hallelujah. not happening anymore hallelujah she said to me your mother asked to be taken off her medication she had to have injections mm. she said she asked to be stopped from the injection she said we were going to grant it mm. But the only reason why we didn't is because we were concerned about the family. Mm. That in case she got sick again and she went into remission, it would mean that it would be a distress for the family mm. to have to refer her back to the mental health services again. So he said, she said, we're going to give her a holding dose, just a slight dose, just to keep her in the system. Mm. She was going to take her off her medication. Mm. Can you believe it? I spoke to a doctor at because I, I work in, mm. in the health service and I, I spoke to a doctor. And I told the doctor, this doctor was born again. And I told him about this situation with my mother mm. and what the psychiatrist said. He said to me, that is a miracle. He said, that never happens. Mm. Never, never happens. happens. Never happens. But we got the victory. We praise God. We praise God because the God, because Jesus mm. died for our physical well being, yeah. He died for our mental well being. Right. Yeah. But it's going to take a bit of gut. Mm. Sometimes mm. you have to really, yeah, you in some that. cases, yeah. you have to really stand on yeah. the word of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You need yeah. to know what the word of God says and, mm. and you stand on your rights. Yes. We Amen. stood on our rights. We Amen. knew what God's word said Amen. and we weren't prepared Amen. to let it go past and let the devil rob us because right. right. the devil comes to steal mm. to to kill and to destroy yeah. Yeah. and that's what he was doing yeah. he stole my mother's mm. health mm. he stole her well-being mm. and he stole it he mm. stole something from us because we mm. were robbed of that mm. wonderful woman mm. for many years mm. Mm. but glory be to Praise god before she Lord. died mm. we got it back amen hallelujah hallelujah Praise the Lord. we got it back we had a yeah. few months of the woman yeah. who was totally lucid yeah. and back to what she was years ago she got her sense of humor back amen oh hallelujah, hallelujah. she was able to spend quality time with her family praise god because jesus hallelujah. is a healer it's one of our benefits amen Wonderful. oh glory amen. we need to stand on amen. our rights amen glory be for what god. jesus paid for amen you to say something no i was just thinking that um you know that when she came back to a right man what the lord um had done we just followed the battle plan of the Lord. Amen. That's we what did. we did. We, we did. didn't do anything else. Yeah, we, we followed, just followed the battle plan. There was a the battle Lord. plan given to us, and you know? we followed it, yeah. and we got what the victory. Praise God. Oh, Hallelujah. God. I, I, I so believe. God be the glory. I believe the devil is still smarting Ooh. from that because that was a huge victory. A huge. victory. Huge. Oh, still smarting from that one. Go home to glory. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Went home to glory in her right, right mind. mind. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Bless Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Okay, we're going to learn about another benefit. Mm. Verse 4 says, 
who redeems your life from destruction. Hallelujah. Well, this is good news for us today, isn't Hallelujah. it? Hallelujah. <laughs> right now. Oh, praise God. Regarding the situation we're facing, isn't it good to know that one of our benefits is that we can stand on the word of God and believe yeah. that he redeems our life from destruction. Mm. COVID-19 mm. is threatening to destroy mm. the civilization upon planet Earth. Yeah, but God has got a battle plan. Amen. And he sent his son Jesus to redeem us from destruction. Amen. Praise God. So we, last week, we learned about our inheritance mm. rights as children of God. The benefits stated in Psalm 103 are our inheritance. Mm. But in order to get them, we need to claim them. Amen. We cannot simply assume that they will come to us. Mm. The enemy of our souls will do his best to rob us of what is rightfully ours. Mm. And so getting our benefits will often require a fight. Yes. I'm going to tell you about another fight. Mm. It's something that I, I listened to on the 700 Club. And I'm, I'm sure that many of you also listen mm. to the 700 Club. So if you are a regular listener, mm. you will know this testimony. But I thought it was absolutely tremendous. And it's demonstrating how you need to stand on your rights and fight. It was a story, I think it was last week, the 20th of April, if my memory serves me right. It was a story about a couple mm. in their home, mm. lying in their bed sleeping, and their house caught fire. Mm. It was a tremendous fire. And in the fire, the, the husband managed to get out of the house. The wife was still left in the house. The husband came out and when he was looking around, he didn't see his wife and the house was blazing. Mm. But his instinct said he has to go and get his wife. He can't leave the woman in the house. He went back in to the blazing fire wow. to rescue his wife. Wow. He found her and the two of them came out. But he suffered 90 percent burns. 90 percent burns wow. now. If you know anything about burns, you mm. will know 90% burns. Mm. You don't have much chance mm. of survival with that kind of amount of burns on your body. Mm. When the wife went to the hospital and they started treating, she, she was treated, she was bad enough. But anyway, she was obviously much better than her husband because she didn't go in and out of the fire. Mm. So she was in a state when they were, they reviewed the situation with the husband. They said to her, your husband is not likely to survive the next 24 hours. Mm. He's likely to perish in 24 hours. Mm. He's not going to survive with those mm. injuries. Her mother was thousands of miles away. Look, look how mm. God is good. Her mother had started to pray. Her mother was woken up in the middle of the night and started to pray. Mm. And she didn't even know what she was praying mm. about. She, she believed something was wrong somewhere. The spirit of the Lord woke her up. She started to pray because she didn't know what to pray about. Mm. She just knew something was wrong with mm. somebody somewhere. Mm. And the spirit of the Lord led her to pray in tongues. So she started to pray in tongues about the situation. It was only later she found it was her son, her, her daughter and her son-in-law mm. that the problem was about. So mm. she had already started to pray about the situation. She flew in mm. to join her daughter. And the first thing I forgot to mention, the first thing the woman said, the wife said, when the doctor said to her that her husband was not going to survive, it, she said, he will live and not die. Amen. That's what she said. Amen. She claimed it. That's right. She said he's going to live. Mm. The mother came and joined the daughter and together they agreed mm. that the husband was going to live against all odds. Mm. They put out a Facebook request. They got the church involved. The church mm. came and they started to pray in the hospital. The church agreed mm. with the mother and the daughter. Mm. He survived the first 24 hours. Then they said, oh, well, he's going to get blind. Mm. You know, if he, this, he's likely to be that, blind. Yeah. Uh, he's going to, you know, we don't know if the skin mm. grass are going to, he might get infections. Mm. Uh, he's going to lose limbs. This is going to happen. So every time they said to, to the, the, the family mm. and to the, the church, what was going to happen that was wrong? They said, no. Mm. The wife said, nothing missing nothing broken mm, because shalom if you remember what we talked about last week we talked about wholeness mm. oh hallelujah, hallelujah. one God. of our benefits is peace mm. and one of the definitions of peace is wholeness, wholeness. and yeah. completeness yes. Amen. jesus died that we would be complete and whole in every respect mm. glory be to god and so that's what they claimed mm. they claimed that the man would be whole, he would be complete, there would be nothing missing, there'd be nothing broken. Cut a long story short, they got what they mm. believed for. Every operation that they did for the man, he survived. Amen. All of the skin grass worked. Yep. He did not go blind. Mm. He did not lose any limbs. Mm. 
He had to, I think he was in hospital for about two months mm. to recover. Mm. And as he recovered, they showed the man on the mm. screen. When I saw the man, I couldn't believe mm. my eyes. Mm. The man did not look like somebody who'd been burned. Mm. Glory. Uh, I'm sure many of you have seen burn yeah. victims. When you see them, even mm. they, they don't have 90% mm. burns, much less their faces contorted mm. and they mm. look all mm. kind of mad. He didn't look like that at That's all. Right. That's right. He just looked like he had some bruises. Yeah. He, on the back, he saw some bruises. He said, the scars are healing up as we speak. Mm. And chances are they'll probably mm. heal up completely. Mm. Why did that happen? Yeah. Because some people knew their covenants. Yeah, they, right. they knew their, their God-given rights mm. and they stood on their authority. They weren't going to be robbed of what was rightfully theirs. Mm. They said no when the devil tried to take away the husband. Mm. When they tried to give him, you know, some people would have settled for less. They said no. Mm. They stood on their inheritance yeah. rights. Thank you, Lord. And that's why they get, and that's what you need to do. If you're going to believe God, yeah. you need to stand on your Thank inheritance you, rights yeah. and not yeah. give up. And you'll get those kind of results. I want to pray with you. Amen. Praise God. Father, we just want to thank you, thank you for Lord. what we've learned today. Amen. Because of what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary, we mm. have been delivered from sin, mm. from sickness and spiritual death. Mm. We're so grateful that you are not holding our trespasses against us, Lord. Amen. Once we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Thank you for the provision which has been made by the atonement for our healing. Thank you, Lord. Help us to stand on your word in the face of opposition or delay yes, and declare our healing so that we can receive our inheritance. Mm. Father, we also want to thank you that your word tells us that you have redeemed our lives from destruction. Amen. The enemy has been filling the hearts of many people with the belief that they will succumb to the coronavirus. Mm. But in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. I come against the spirit of fear. Amen. I break your power over all those who are listening, spirit of fear, Amen. particularly the most vulnerable, the elderly, and those with underlying health conditions. My Lord. And I declare and decree that they shall not die, but live. Amen. And declare the words of the Lord Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. In Glory Jesus' mighty name. I just want you to repeat these Glory words after me. God. Hallelujah. I shall not die. I shall not die. But live. But live. And declare the and works declare of the Lord. The works of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. We pray that that has been a real blessing to you. Hallelujah. You know, we know that we've extended our program today, but we it was, we we felt it was vitally important for you to receive the word today. Praise God. Amen. These messages. You know, we didn't just conjure them up. You understand? We follow the leading of the Holy Spirit Amen. all of the time. And so we appreciate what God is doing. And I pray whatever he's doing in your life, that the Lord will bless you real good. Hallelujah. Now, we want to say to you today, the details are on, are on the screen as well, is that if you require us to pray for you, then please do email us. The email address is on the screen, but I'm going to say it to you. It is speak word of God at gmail.com speak word of god at gmail.com so you can email us and uh, with your prayer request so that we can pray with you we can pray for you we can agree with you in prayer Amen. for your family for your friends please use the service we are here to serve and so we will pray with you so remember speak word of god at gmail.com email us with any of your prayer requests, even if you have questions or, or, or scripture verse or something that you want us just to elaborate on, please do share that with us. Amen. Amen. And if this, if this teaching has been a blessing to you today, please share. Please share it with all those you feel may benefit uh, uh, from this teaching. Amen. Amen. And we appreciate you for that. Amen. Now, we cannot let um, anyone go um, without giving an opportunity for those of you who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. as your personal Savior. Hallelujah. Uh, we, 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 we feel it's necessary that you can pray the prayer of salvation. Praise the Lord. You may feel that you've been thinking about it for quite some time, yes. but we want to pray with you right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. John 15 and verse 6 says, I am the way, and this is Jesus speaking, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by or through me. Hallelujah. Amen. As the way, 
Jesus is the path to the Father. Mm. Therefore, you cannot be misled. Mm. As the truth, he is the reality of all of God's promises. And as the life, he joins his divine life to yours, both now and eternally. Amen. Would you like to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior Amen. today? You, well, if you do, just repeat this prayer after me. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy on me a sinner. Have mercy on me a sinner. I acknowledge my need of you. I acknowledge my need of you. And I repent of all my sins. And I repent of all my sins. And ask for forgiveness. And ask for forgiveness. I accept you as my Lord. I accept you as my Lord. My Savior. My Savior. My Redeemer. My Redeemer. And my Deliverer. And my Deliverer. I invite you now. I invite you now. To be Lord of my life. To be Lord of my life. Fill my heart with your love. Fill my heart with your love. Your joy. Your joy. Your your peace your peace lord jesus lord jesus i now receive you i now receive you into my heart into my heart thank you thank you for taking me for taking me as i am as i am glory be to hallelujah. god hallelujah if you said this prayer right now you are now a born again believer praise god heaven is rejoicing over you right now amen praise god hallelujah please do contact us at speak the word at gmail.com or inbox us on our facebook page let us know how you're getting on. We want to say that the Lord will bless you real good. Amen. Amen. So we praise God for you. We thank you for watching with us today. And in the meantime, as we go and as the Lord causes his face to shine upon you and gives you peace, stay blessed, stay encouraged, stay focused, stay safe. Amen. So until next time, God bless. God bless. Bye. Bye for now. And take care of yourselves. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God.